Hi, my name is Yezen and I'm a neurology hire specialist trainee based in London. If you're a medical doctor and you want to pursue medical specialty training in the UK, then you'll need to complete the membership of the Royal College of Physicians or MRCP examinations. The second part of the postgraduate diploma is MRCP part two written. At QuestMed, we have worked hard to create a dedicated platform with over 2,000 questions and a detailed reference textbook based on the themes that you will encounter in the exam. But what exactly is the MRCP Part 2 written and how should you prepare for it? The MRCP is a postgraduate diploma designed to test the skills, knowledge and behaviours of a doctor who wishes to undergo medical specialty training in the United Kingdom. It is also valued internationally as a professional distinction in other countries. In order to achieve this qualification, you have to sit and successfully pass three exams, MRCP Part 1, MRCP Part 2 Written, and MRCP Part 2 Clinical, also known as PACES. Any doctor who wishes to start specialist registrar training in the UK within a physician or medical training program must have completed all parts of the MRCP diploma in order to enter the relevant specialist training. The specialties where MRCP is a requirement can be seen on the screen now. You must have at least 12 months of postgraduate medical experience before applying to sit the part one exam, which usually means waiting until completion of FY1 before applying. In order to apply and sit for the MRCP part two exam, you must have sat part one and been successful first. Many doctors within the UK and abroad undertake the MRCP diploma, even if it's not a training requirement, in order to provide additional value to their portfolio, but also to develop their skills and knowledge further. The MRCP Part 2 written examination is designed to test the doctor's knowledge of clinical medicine as relevant to their practice. The aim is to ensure the candidate understands common and important disorders that they may come across during their specialist training at an entry level. The exam is currently completed electronically and is comprised of two papers, each with 100 questions in a best of five format, where one answer is the single best answer and there is no negative marking, and each correct answer is awarded a single mark. If taken in the UK, you will sit the exam at home and will be monitored remotely while doing so. If taken internationally, the exam will be sat at a test center. Traditionally, this used to be a pencil and paper exam, but in-person examination methods have been adapted following the COVID-19 pandemic. Things may continue to change and evolve with time, so it's worth checking the RCP website prior to planning your exam for any updates. In the MRCP Part 2 exam, the questions are usually complex, with longer stems, requiring the candidate to integrate several pieces of clinical information, including the results of investigations, in order to come to the correct answer. The questions may require the candidate to apply two-step logic more frequently, for example, by coming to the diagnosis first based on the information given, but the question being about treatment rather than the underlying diagnosis itself. These more complex question stems are designed in order to mimic clinical reasoning and clinical medicine as may be experienced in clinical practice. This is in contrast to part one, where the stems are usually shorter with single step logic and a greater focus on clinical sciences. The questions in MRCP part two written, therefore, tend to have a slightly more clinical focus, asking the candidate to either make a diagnosis or identify the next best step in management, treatment, or investigations. There will always be five options and one option will be the best answer, though the other four options will often be a close match and hence the single best answer. Here are some example exam questions to help you understand the format a bit better. In this question, the candidate is expected to integrate the patient's history, including social history, alongside examination findings in order to first come to the underlying diagnosis of enterobiasis. The question, however, requires two-step logic. Rather than asking what the diagnosis is, it asks what the definitive treatment would be for this patient. This next question illustrates a more complex stem. The candidate is provided with a clinical history, but also investigation test results. The candidate must use this information in order to answer the question, which again relies on two-step logic. First, coming to the conclusion that the underlying diagnosis is most likely celiac disease, and then using this to answer the question itself about the most likely long-term complication. The subject of the questions is based on a careful blueprint designed to ensure that an appropriate range of medical knowledge is tested. Therefore, each specialty or subject area being tested is given a rough proportion of the total number of questions available across both papers, as displayed in this table. Mm -hmm. 
At QuestMed, we have worked closely with the best physicians who have taken and successfully passed the MRCP exams in order to develop over 2,000 questions that are based on themes from previous papers. You can be confident that using our question bank will therefore help you navigate the key content and material you need to learn about during your exam preparation. Plan ahead, as there are only fixed dates when you can sit the exam, published by the Royal College of Physicians. Application deadlines are usually several months in advance of the exam itself, so it is imperative to check ahead of time so you do not miss out on your desired date. Results are published online one to two months after completing the exam. The results release dates are available on the Royal College of Physicians website, so you have an idea of when to expect to hear if your attempt has been successful or not. The pass mark for MRCP Part 2 written is 454. Most candidates will score between 200 and 800. This score is scaled, such as that it is calculated by taking into consideration not only the number of questions the candidate has correctly answered, but also the relative difficulty of the question and the exam. All components of the MRCP diploma must be completed within seven years of the candidate's first successful attempt at the MRCP Part 1 examination. If unsuccessful, candidates are permitted a maximum number of six attempts. If the exam has not been passed after six attempts, then the candidate will need to be supported in additional training with appropriate evidence before further attempts are allowed. Everyone prepares differently, and there's no single right or wrong answer, but here are some tips that may help you as you plan your revision strategy. Don't underestimate the depth and breadth of topics covered in this exam. Start well in advance, and we usually recommend three to six months, depending on your work schedule in the preceding period. Set timelines and goals, and be aware of topics covered by the exam as discussed in the video to ensure your revision strategy covers all these specialties. Don't rely on one single resource. Obtain a good reference textbook and combine this with effective online resources such as question banks and guidelines to synthesize your revision notes. Take mock tests and complete practice questions whenever available and take questions in time conditions to help you replicate the exam experience and get used to the time pressures you may face in the exam. Completing practice questions will allow you to adapt to the types of questions you may face and will help you cover a good range of topics. And also, do make sure to use official resources such as the Royal College of Physicians sample questions on the website, which are a great way getting used to the type of questions asked. Join or create a study group. Discussing topics and testing each other can help provide different perspectives and help in clarifying any doubts about the material. Flashcards can also be an invaluable resource to allow you to test yourself on key topics quickly. Remember to take regular breaks and maintain your health this is a marathon, not a sprint. Medicine is an evolving field. Ensure you're updated with the latest guidelines and treatments. At QuestMed, we have worked closely with expert physicians to develop over 2000 MRCP part two written questions. These are based on themes and topics that have appeared in previous exams. So we are confident that our content, coupled with our cutting edge platform with the best UX technology, will provide you with the most effective tools needed for you to complete your revision. Alongside our questions, we have generated a dedicated reference textbook that you have access to as part of your subscription. This textbook covers all the key topics that you will need to know about prior to sitting your MRCP exams and has been developed carefully with the MRCP blueprint in mind. So there we have it, the MRCP part two examination in a nutshell. The MRCP part two is a challenging exam, but with dedication, the right resources, and an effective revision strategy, you can conquer it. Remember, this is one of the first steps towards your journey to becoming a specialist. We wish you the best of luck here at QuestMed.